Did you know that EVs cost a fortune to repair? The dream of showing off an EV seems attractive to many. From costly repairs and shortages to pricey insurance, let's look at issues to ponder upon. EVs were advertised and marketed to be one of the most climate-friendly, zero-emission vehicles out there. Yet, in 2024, consumers are facing severe setbacks due to the various issues that keep cropping up for EV owners. EVs are far less reliable and far more complicated machines than internal combustion engines or ICE cars. EV makers created attractive marketing strategies that promised its prospective buyers low maintenance costs, lower frequency of repairs and smooth battery replacements. But as more and more consumers are adopting EVs in their preferred mode of transport, they are coming to realise this reality is far from what they expected. With far fewer components to worry about in the first place, EVs did seem like a viable and cheaper repair option. No oil changes, no air filter replacement, but just one electrical component failure can cost the same as all of these trivial repairs combined. And that is exactly what's happening. Even though EVs do have fewer parts, collision repairs can cost a fortune. This is because in a collision, multiple parts are damaged and need to be replaced. Another issue arises due to the way EVs are built. Often, various parts are welded together. This means that when one part fails, there's no scope for repair. The entire set of components needs to be replaced. Replacement parts are hard to come by, as we will see later in the video. Do you know what is the most prominent issue that causes despair among consumers? It's the repair costs. As EVs are significantly costlier than ICE cars, it only makes sense that they would take more money to repair. Their parts are costlier, and so is maintenance. The average repair cost of an EV in the United States was $6,018 in 2023, compared to their ICE counterparts, which cost significantly lower, $4,696. A simple fender bender of a Tesla could cost you as much as $8,700. In Canada, the average repair cost for EVs was $6,795, much higher than internal combustion engines vehicle repairs, costs at $5,122. If these costs don't freak you out, imagine a more serious rear-end collision. A downed vehicle like this could cost as much as $24,000 to repair. Did you know why repair costs are so astonishingly high? The most important cause, according to experts, is the lack of adequate repair facilities. Even though some facilities exist, they often have very few certified mechanics or technicians who are capable of repairing an EV. This is mostly because repairing an EV takes a very different skill set, quite different from what an ICE car mechanic have. This means that repair facilities often fall short of meeting consumer demand. As we all know, simple rules of demand and supply say that shorter supply with higher demand is going to drive up costs. As ICE mechanics can't step in, few EV mechanics charge higher amounts because they have high demand for their skills. Another issue is the shortage of parts for their vehicle repair. As any machine operates, it's bound to face issues at some point and need repairs. That's where parts come in. For any vehicle designed to operate well in the market, consumers need access to replacement parts where their vehicle hits a snag. With EVs, that's a bit complicated. Aftermarket parts are hard to come by. Sometimes, even recycled parts from older vehicles aren't available, unless you're ready to pay a premium. As EVs are relatively new, often fewer companies manufacture replacement parts. Tesla, for example, manufactures most of its own replacement parts. This leads to longer cycle times and delayed or costly repairs at the consumer end. Often, this leaves mechanics with fewer companies to buy replacements from. As the EV space is rather new and limited, it's going to take time before licensing and leases allow other companies to manufacture replacements. Till then, parts are going to retain a costly headache for consumers. EV manufacturers promise consumers easy battery replacements, but that's far from the truth. Batteries are the most sensitive component in any EV. Any issue involving the battery means the entire thing needs to be replaced. No minor repairs, no short-term fixes or solutions. You can only imagine how costly that is. A new Tesla Model S battery costs anywhere between $12,000 to $15,000. If all that wasn't enough, it's significantly more dangerous to repair an EV. Because the various components in the EV conduct electricity, it's very dangerous for the repairman to go in for repairs with the vehicle as is. For this reason, the car is often intentionally totaled. Fuses are pulled so that the entire circuit is shut down before mechanics step in to do their job. In this process, it's called disarming an EV. Often third parties are involved. Needless to say, these complexities only add to the costly woes of the consumer. EVs often come with built-in software that helps run and monitor the vehicle and its parameters. But these aren't without challenges. Such software often needs updates and downloads. These often require the driver to visit a dealership as the updates aren't automatic. 
To and fro trips like this significantly increase maintenance costs. Because EVs have intricate battery components that are carefully aligned, even a minor fender bender might cause serious havoc. Besides the external damage seen by consumers, the internal components of the drivetrain and battery tend to get misaligned. This ain't a repair job that requires shoving things back into place. A simple paint job simply cannot fix an EV. To repair this issue, a train mechanic needs to perform detailed diagnosis in order to set the components back into place. Other than the high costs associated with such intricate work, any errors might cause serious safety hazards, even battery fires. Another factor that adds to the cost of EV repairs is its complexity and the use of lightweight materials. A fender bender where the body is damaged will require replacements with lightweight materials. And these are far more expensive than ICE vehicles. EVs, unlike ICE vehicles, come with Advanced Driver Assistance Systems, ADAS, which are incredibly important for the functioning of an EV. The ADAS system depends on a series of cameras and sensors that are interconnected in order to function. It has been observed that EV ADAS systems often tend to entail 50% higher cost than similar repairs in ICE vehicles. Often when other repairs are conducted, ADAS recalibration is needed. This added cost that comes with non-ADAS related repairs is often an additional expense. When the car's mainframe is involved, lightweight materials that are procured often drive up costs, not to mention the additional complexity and skills that are needed to perform such repairs. Battery repairs are costly as they are. If minor snags occur, often the entire drivetrain is opened and the battery needs to be replaced. Such measures are taken to ensure the safety of the driver, as battery faults tend to cause huge fire hazards. Currently, there are no manufacturers that produce individual battery components. This means that when the car's battery fails, which is bound to happen at some point in time, the company simply requests that you replace the entire thing. Battery replacements can often cost more than the car's worth. All this comes in the wake of rising insurance costs. It's been seen that insurance policies taken out on EVs demand significantly higher premiums. Even for similar car variants, it is often more costly to insure an EV variant rather than an ICE version of the same car. One example from the United Kingdom is the 14% higher cost in the case of the Vauxhall Corsa and 40% higher cost in the case of the MG ZS. As seen by consumers, this is due to the inherent scarcity of components that are manufactured by fewer companies compared to combustion engine vehicle components. Batteries and electric motors inside the vehicle cost more to replace or fix, and in any event, they drive up insurance premiums. Higher complexity caused by lightweight materials and internal electric systems makes it costlier for consumers to insure all components. Combustion engines use the basic technology that was invented in the 1920s, but EVs require more fine-tuned, innovative approaches. Since repair facilities and trained professionals are difficult to find, insurance companies charge huge premiums for even small-scale damage insurance. When safety systems need to be repaired, they lead to increased costs because they ensure driver safety. What happens to the future of EV will depend on how well EV manufacturers are able to meet the demands of the consumer and solve these issues. Till then, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment your views below. Stay tuned for more such updates.